Pascal, just the three out there with so many different guys on the tonight. Just curious, you know, what was that like from your perspective to kind of have so many different players in the game on your defense? Yeah. Um, that's what camp is for. You know, we actually had a full year and a full camp, and um, we developed that camaraderie and that chemistry amongst each other. So it's new faces, but still the same defense. We're going to have Zach Harrison join Haskell. Uh, go ahead, Bill. Uh, Haskell, you have what I would consider now a receiving nope. touchdown and a rushing touchdown. Can't be. Uh, how would you describe your, your versatility? <laughs> I'm, I mean, really, it's just in the right place at the right time and you know when my number was called I was just there and I, w I wouldn't have done what I did without this guy so. we're gonna go over here to Stephen Means I just got off the ball and used my hands used my technique and just bend the edge and saw the quarterback and I was like I just hit him and I was trying to get the ball out and I did that and bro scored it so he always says sacks are good, but but strip sacks change the game. You know, we as a D line, we take that to heart. You know, in practice, but we're always working every time. We come on the edge, swipe at the ball, swipe at the ball, swipe at the ball, and it, just, it was just second nature. It was kind of muscle memory at that point. You can go way in the back uh, at the cameras. Is that you, Justin? Oh, uh, Spencer, go ahead. Oh, Zach, Zach, you watched you watched <laughs> your freshman year. You watched Chase make game-changing plays on a game-to-game -game basis. You've been compared to a lot of those guys before you. To have one of those game-changing plays now on your own, what does that feel like to maybe get a little bit of that weight off your shoulder? I mean, I'm, I don't like to compare myself to anybody. I feel like I'm, I'm Zach Harrison. I'm trying to build my own, my own legacy here at Ohio State. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy we, we wouldn't want to know. I'm happy I could help the team get a win, and that's, that's all that matters to me. Over here to the left, Rob Oller comes to dispatch. Ask when you hear fat man touchdown. <laughs> do you, is that offensive to you? Do you take pride in that? Or do you, do you consider yourself a little more uh, in shape than that? Um, I mean, it just shows that, you know, big dudes can run. <laughs> we got nimble feet nowadays, you know. Not back in the day, it used to just be big and just plug up space. But I think there's an evolution of linemen that are athletic and we can run. So it's, it, it's whatever. Anybody else over here? Uh, front row, Austin? Yeah, that, that strip there, that seems like the kind of play a year ago you guys talked about. It was just like maybe half a second out of your reach. What's what's the difference for you or for that front in there as a whole that tells you to keep doing that more and turning it into what you want? You know, just practicing hard, just working, working the technique and practice, and whatever happens in practice happens in games. And so during practice, I've, I've had a few plays where I could have got strips action and quarterbacks aren't live, but and showed up in a game, and that's something that, you know, Coach Jay preaches and, and all the DNs are capable of doing is making game changer plays like that. Over to the left, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Zach, you mentioned Coach Jay had said strip sacks can change the game. Do you feel like that play changed the momentum? I mean, it definitely brought some energy to the sideline and added seven points to the, to the to our score, so I feel like um, yeah, it, definitely, it definitely had an impact on the game. Over to the left, uh, back row, Tony Gervin, Buckeye Scoop. Zach, how do you think the pass rush did tonight? Um, good, but we have a lot of room to improve. Once we hop on the film, we're gonna we're gonna see that um, you know there was a lot of plays that we could have taken advantage of, and we just we just did it. And that's the the fun thing about coming out of this game with the win is that we have so much room to improve and get better coming on the next week and coming on to the season ahead of us. Now we'll go here to the left over Midwest Columbus Dispatch. Well, I think for the most part, <clears throat> just really, um, we got to lead. And I mean, we picked as captains for a reason. And so um, the way we lead, everybody will follow. And so um, really, like I said earlier, it's new faces, but we still got the same defense. And like they always say, we reload. Yeah, the stand. Uh, uh, I mean, he pretty much answered that. I was just going to answer because I thought I asked him. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go last question for these two. Uh, very back, Clay Hall. Yeah, it's same yeah. play. How can that bond the defense How, uh, or the evolution of this this defense? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, we just, like I said, we just got so much room to get better. And, and we all know that. And we're all excited to get better. And, and 
and to play just to play better and continue to grow. And you said a lot of guys who don't have that much experience. You know, we had started two corners who didn't have very very much game reps, and that's and that's something that you know it takes time to get used to to play a corner. And they, and they balled out. You know, all our corners had a good game. And same with the linebackers, linebackers who didn't have a lot of reps going into the game, and, and they balled out too. And just to just to know that this is the starting point. And, and like I said, we came out with a win against a, a good Big Ten opponent. It's just is exciting for our defense to know that we have nothing but room to improve.